Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 4 with me, Get Dave. So, I talked about earning a little bit of money off camera and I did that in about four fights or so. So, what we're going to do... Uh-oh, did I already sell it? No, I didn't. There we go. We're going to sell the silk robe. So there's the 82 coins. And now we can buy the Biznaz. So, chain sickle for Elena. Now we've got a legitimate damage threat. Actually, Elena's pretty much set almost with her best equipment for the chapter, so... You know, that's nice. Uh, the other two aren't exactly in great shape, but... You know... That's just how it's gonna have to be. Missed at the end just to recharge. Um, Elena also got up to level 8, so that's nice. And we're gonna go into the Renner Vault. Um, again, if this is your first time playing the game, or if you're not reckless and the sort of person who's gonna get Ragnar killed in Chapter 1, then I would recommend grinding up until you got some better equipment, at least for Kirill. Boria is good with Kirill's hand-me-downs, but, uh, you know, that's about it. There's money down here. Fun note about Chimera Wings, uh, you know what, I'm actually just going to show you. If you're not familiar with Dragon Quest games, I'm just going to use one in a cave. And you hit your head on the ceiling, that's how the story ends. So uh, that also applies to the Zoom spell. There's the Evac spell which will allow you to get out, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to try putting these guys to sleep, because if I don't, terrible things could happen to me. They can cast Kasnus on you. Um, if you're not familiar with Dragon Quest games, particularly the the more recent ones, the way their localizations work is there's three levels to most spells. Sometimes there's a fourth, but we won't worry about that. Um, so, for example, Frizz is a family of spells that deal fire damage. So the first one is Frizz, the second one is Frizzle, and then Calfrizzle is the strongest one. So Bori's got Crack, so Crackle will be the next one, and then Kakrackle. And every once in a while there's a fourth one in there, like Kakrack. But they're all just permutations of those two things. Fire Spirits are uh, kind of dangerous for a very special reason, that three things can happen when you hit them. Um, nothing could happen. No damage, no nothing. That would be the neutral option. The good thing would be if you did damage to them. And then sometimes they'll spawn a friend, uh, another fire spirit, with full life. And that sucks. Vampire bats are a little bit dangerous. They've got decent attack. Uh, thorny devils can emit a fireball, but don't worry too much about them. Right now, if an enemy can hit Elena and do any respectable damage, then they've got a good attack. Yeah, Thorny Devils are kind of... They would have been tough on level 5. Or they would have been, you know, a reasonable enemy on level 5. Boria! Level up! Always nice to see his resistance stat grow up. 360 coins. So that could get us... Poison Moth Knife for Boria. Or at least, you know, if we sold a couple things. Um, I would strongly discourage you from selling any equipment like, um, or any items like, oh no, there we go. Kasnus only hits one target, it's very rare in that. Normally Ka means it's going to hit everything, but um, it has an extremely high chance of succeeding. Kasnus is kind of the reverse of most, in that the normal one hits all enemies, or it hits a group, I should say. And the Ka version of it doesn't. I don't think there's any other spells that work that way. Crested Vipers can cast Sap. Watch out for that. This cave's going quite well so far. Like, if you get put to sleep by a bed bug... Like, I've had my entire party put to sleep, and then... That's, that's how you end up limping out of here with your tail between your legs and no armlet of transmutation to show for it. 
was called the Golden Bracelet in the original game. Kind of nondescript, but gives a little bit of a Lord of the Rings feel. Anyway, I mentioned earlier not to sell something, and then I didn't say what it was. I'm talking about Seeds of Life, Seeds of Strength, and so on. Yeah, see, here's, here's a battle that could screw us up. I'm going to dazzle them, and I'm going to try putting them to sleep. They're all one group, which is nice, but as you can see, Boria could be dead already. Three out of five. Not bad. And the ones that aren't asleep are hallucinating. Uh, he's got lots of MP. We can cast Crack a little bit. I probably should have actually made him... Well... Some great thinking, Boria. Go for the one that's asleep. He missed because he was dazzled, not because Boria has good armor. The only thing Boria has good is English. We got a ton of money for it, so that was nice. The way I am rushing ahead a little bit in this chapter, but you really can get quite a bit of money that way. One of these contains magic water. There we go. That gives you about 20 MP. About 20 MP. It uh, will often give you less. <laughs> the good news is, you know, they're useful to put on Kirill. By the way, in the original game, the enemies did have enough MP to cast Dazzle, so that's why they were a lot more dangerous. Yeah, it was alright. Ah, uh, no, Boria, you're gonna just protect yourself. Treat yourself, Boria. Because he's sort of, in a way, the most valuable member of the party right now, because he's putting all the enemies to sleep. If we didn't have that, we'd be in a fair bit of trouble. I think they're all awake now. But the size of the group is small enough that I don't think we're in trouble. It would be nice if we could kill more than one a turn, but again, I'm just gonna... We have to be a bit more conservation-oriented. We're almost at the end of this cave, actually. It's been a pretty quick run. This is often the case with things in this game. Like, you can really progress quite quickly. It's one reason why I like the DS remakes of these games so much, because... Yeah, just the pacing is excellent. Dragon Quest VIII, oh, fantastic, is a really good game. Uh, one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games of all time, and one of my favorite games in this series. But... The battle speed is a bit lower, and the load times are a bit slower and everything, and, so, and there's a lot of ex exploration in the game, like most Dragon Quest games. So the problem with Dragon Quest VIII is, all those loading screens and everything really do disrupt the pace of the game. You want to... You want to go exploring, but you keep getting stuck into fights. And these ones, everything clips along so quickly, I don't know, it's one of the few games that doesn't bug me that they have uh, random encounters. Whoops. Alright, we've got the armlet of transmutation. Enjoy it while you've got it, everybody, as we have to barter it away. Use this item when the time is right. How about now? Yeah, we don't know what to do with it. Uh, what am I looking for? Here we go. Okay, we only have one mission left now, and let's get out of this cave alive. Don't pull a Ragnar. Speaking of which, <laughs> I believe these were involved in killing him. Um, the most dangerous thing these guys can do is cast Ice Bolt, or pardon me, Crack. You'll occasionally hear me slip back and forth between the, uh, 
Dragon Warrior spell names and the Dragon Quest names. Oh, please don't kill Elena. Holy crap. However, they've all cast, um, crack now, so they're pretty much done. Yeah, you can do one whole damage point. Uh, I'm just gonna keep defending with Vorya, because, I mean, I guess he, he might get a critical hit. You never know. Do your best, Vorya. Crack's not gonna work on them. They are ice mages. Oh, Boria, that was your big chance. Back in the day when I was, like, playing Final Fantasy 1, I, I would occasionally... Like, give my white mage a chance to bring down a bigger enemy or anything, and I would just have everyone constantly defend, or whatever turn-wasting actions were available. Yep. Wanted to make people feel good about themselves. Now I've changed. Vampire Bat B is confused. That can mean a number of different things. Best case scenario, he attacks his friends. Worst case scenario, he just keeps attacking me anyway. Again, I'm a little afraid of their high attack power. <laughs> it shakes its body. Yeah, of course it doesn't work. There is a certain amount of logic to the enemies that can fall asleep. I mean, you know, it's a bat. There's a nocturnal element there. Hmm, howling in a disturbing manner, eh? Alright, everybody kill. Bounce and Zoom. Well, Zoom's a lot more useful. Bounce is a shielding spell that you can cast on your characters, and it will reflect any spell back at the caster. That includes heals. So once you cast Bounce, you're, uh, you're committing to something. Now, this may not look it, but this is actually possibly the most dangerous fight we've been in so far. Uh, I actually have half a mind to cast Bounce right now. Okay, those two are taken out. As long as this guy doesn't casnooze us, and I'm going to double up on him to make sure he doesn't. Yeah. I was hoping he wouldn't do that. But we need those guys dead. Assuming they don't cough up... They both... Don't both cop up fireballs, okay. I was gonna say, we're not in that much danger of dying, but... We are in a little bit. This is good, though. Get a little bit of drama on the way out. Have Elena put one in this place. And a crap ton of money. So as you can see, the grinding's gone, like, really smoothly. We're through the cave. We did the entire thing in like 13 minutes. Got the armlet of transmutation, but we have to go there at night. Uh, these enemies are extremely immune to sleep, but you can dazzle them pretty easily. But I think we can just uh, try taking them out with brute force here. I forget how much zoom costs in this game. In the original, it was 8 MP. In Dragon Quest 8, they reduced it to 1 MP, which was nice. Get around, could get around quite nicely. It might have been 2. The hero learns a spell that reduces his magic costs by half, so kind of makes some of those foggy. Alright, Boria. Every game should have this spell. Anywhere you've been before, in an instant. Just like a Chimera Wing. And since we can afford it, we're gonna get a lot more mileage out of the Holy Lance on Kirill than we will out of the Poison Moth Knife on Boria. Uh, just cause having two high attackers is better than having one high attacker and two average attackers. 
Use the word attacker again in a sentence. You bet. Probably not. Uh, it would be kind of nice if we could get the bronze armor uh, by selling things, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I wonder. We've got a little bit of extra crap we're hauling around. The cypress stick is virtually worthless. I got a feeling we're not going to get up to 750. Although if I started selling the seed of strength, we've got a leather hat. I'm sorry, Boria, we're a little short. I'll have to sell all three seeds of luck. No. Um, I'm gonna off screen. I'll probably. We need to get to the other town at night. So here's what we're gonna do. I've had my butt kicked, so. Might as well stay at the inn. If memory serves, it was pretty early in the morning, so. We were gonna have a long day night cycle anyway. I'm going to off screen running around, grabbing some money and waiting till it's night, and then we'll zoom to the other town. So I'll be back in a moment. Alright everybody, we're back. So it's almost night time, but uh, I have 737 gold and when I say almost night time, we've got seconds. So <laughs> one enemy dropped a treasure chest with plain clothes in them, so that was... Uh, well, I'm probably going to have to take a break from the video to tell my mom about it. I'm so excited. Gotta make a phone call. Alright, we got just to 750, so Poison Moth Knife, here we go. And for a very brief window in the game, Boria is going to have a meaningful attack power. Not very meaningful, but... Uh he'll be able to probably do more than one damage point. So, you know, <laughs> that's exciting. And soon his attack power won't really increase. There we go, now it's night time. That was just to prove I didn't waste your time too much. Um, enemy's attack, or enemy's defense is gonna increase, his attack power isn't really gonna increase. So... All you Bor Boria fans, uh, enjoy this while you can. Alright, we've got the Amulet of Transmutation. Pardon me, the Armlet. I'm not... Fine. Now, truthfully, if we'd let her die, it would have been much better. My full fill of life of princess. What? We just saved this common whore? Yeah, after the abduction, after the Sword of Damocles fell upon you, you realize that having power isn't all it's cracked up to be? Well... The ability to break into places will be nice. How do you know she... Eh, whatever. Maybe there was an implied conversation. Alright, everybody. Phase, I guess... Three? Two or three? past. Talk from news. Alright, so that was also a free stay at an inn, I believe. If you want to see a quick statistical comparison, you can click this, by the way. I figured now was a good time to slip it in there. Alright. So, now there's seemingly no objectives for us to take care of. But, 
If you're ever unsure of what to do in a Dragon Quest game, it's always a good idea to go to the next town. A whole bunch of weak enemies, this'll be nice. Yeah, even Borea can one-shot you guys. Still, this'll be a nice amount of money. We can afford lodging! So I'm just gonna duck down... There's gonna be a little shrine we can visit. Whoa! Don't see those too often. I believe that was the first Dragon Quest enemy who could do the annoying desperation attack. Kirill got, Kirill got the absolute weakest possible heal there. Alright, we're gonna go through this... No, we're not. No allowance for it to pass. We're gonna have to get allowance for it to pass somehow. I need to go about this. I'm just gonna casually walk through the desert and notice or the desert bazaar and notice we've got a guard here now. I have been located. <laughs> Return that castle instantaneously. <laughs> oh, the way people talk is amazing in this part of the world. This is probably my favorite region. Alright, so we've got to go to Zemokswa. Because um, the Tsar Zar Stepin is a catastrophe. Well, hello. I should mention, yeah, you'll note, they're uh, not letting us go right now. And if you were to revisit the castle at any point up until now, you would, I, I think at every point you would be trapped in here. And the Tsar wouldn't be good about you leaving. Oh yeah, remember that old man we couldn't uh, really get to before? If not, I'll jog your memory real quick. He's back here! But how far to where are we going there? Oops. We have the key that can open doors, so we can uh, poke around in here a little bit. Yay, 30 bucks! Ken keeps nothing but the best in here. I thought there was... I thought there was something good there. Well, the king can't speak. That's what the problem is right now. And I forget, maybe I missed someone I had to talk to or something, but, uh... The czars of Zamoksva have had, some of them have had the gift of prophecy throughout the ages. Seed of magic. If you give that to Elena, it will be completely useless. Alright, I'll talk to the old man. <laughs> Joseph Starlin, the poet? In all of the mother, all motherland. Well, let's find out if he wears something. You may recall Joseph Starling standing atop the the big building in town, the big communal building. Joseph Starling, how did you get such a nice voice? Yes. Birdsong Nectar. In the original game, it was called Birdsong Nectar. Item shop at Desert Bazaar. Well, we were just there. To the item shop, everybody. We'll wrap this up in no time. Or will we? You are the item shop. Hmm. 
Yes, there are too many monsters, and dangerous ones at that. Gonna wish we had uh, some better equipment by the end of it. That's gonna wait for the next video, everybody. Uh, it's gonna be great. We're gonna visit uh, the tower down to the south west. For those of you who haven't seen my other Dragon Quest LPs, I often will accidentally say east for both directions. I know which one is which, but uh, I call them both east often. Um, I blame the concussions? Anyway, that's going to happen in the next video. I'll see you all in the next video. With me, Get Daved!